high ticket client or a high ticket buyer is looking to pay more, not less. Again, I'll say that again. A high ticket buyer is looking to pay more, not less. Why? Because a high ticket buyer is focused on value more than they're focused on price. <laughs> Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things and I'm super passionate about helping you take your success story and turn it into a six or even seven figure personal brand. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to price your high ticket group coaching program. Now, this is so important because I've, as I've shared in other videos about what it takes in order to scale from a six or even multi six figure coaching business to a seven figure coaching business, having some sort of high ticket group coaching program is definitely something that you are going to want to have in your repertoire. But a lot of people, even though they understand this from a business model standpoint, right? You might have some lower ticket items, but it's very difficult difficult to scale your business, especially if you don't have like Kim Kardashian uh, numbers on social media following you, it's really important that you also have higher priced offers. But many people aren't sure exactly how to price that. And so I just wanna remind you that high ticket offers are essentially high value offers. And so it's really important that you keep that in mind when it comes to pricing. But again, I can say all of this from personal experience because I have charged and have priced my programs all over the spectrum. I remember uh, my first self-discipline program was charged at just $21, which was crazy. But again, I was just beginning. And then, you know, I have programs that go all the way up to 50K. So I, I can speak to both ends of the spectrum. And especially if you are just thinking about your first high ticket group coaching program, this video is really gonna help you out. And so with that, let's get into it. All right, the first thing you need to keep in mind when it comes to pricing a high ticket group coaching program is that you really need to clean up your own money mindset, right? So I didn't wanna jump into this video just saying, oh, you should charge this much, you should charge 10K for your program, or you should charge 15K for your program without first saying, you really need to clean up how you think about money. Oftentimes we bring in our own financial baggage. We bring in the baggage we might've had from how our parents manage money or uh, the beliefs that they instilled in us when it came to money, especially if perhaps, you know, we struggled financially growing up. If there was, you know, a lot of language in the house around money doesn't grow on trees and, you know, we, we've got to really save and conserve because things are tight. Oftentimes we can adopt that mindset and project it onto our clients and then we price our programs inappropriately, and I'll talk about that in a minute, and then we wonder why we are not getting the results or even the sales that we're looking for. So the most important thing when it comes to pricing any program, whether it's a low ticket program, a mid ticket program, or a high ticket program, but especially when pricing a high ticket group coaching program is that you really wanna clean up your own money mindset because the last thing you wanna do is price it because you think, quote unquote, people can't afford this or nobody's gonna be able to pay for this because what might be, you know, expensive expensive to you or what was expensive to you growing up might not be the case for the clients that you're serving. And again, you actually do them a disservice if you charge less than that and you'll actually hurt your sales, which I know sounds crazy because oftentimes we think, oh, if I charge less, then people will be happy and more people will wanna sign with me. But that is actually not the case. And that actually leads me to my second point, which is you need to understand the mindset of a high ticket client. So I know this is gonna sound crazy for some people watching this video, but others of you watching this video will know I'm telling the truth, right? So go ahead and put a hand raise emoji um, in the comments if you know I'm telling the truth on this. But a high ticket client or a high ticket buyer is looking to pay more, not less. Again, I'll say that again. A high ticket buyer is looking to pay more, not less. Why? Because a high ticket buyer is focused on value more than they're focused on price. And so that is a mindset that you really, really have to get into. And I find this a lot, I run into this oftentimes when I'm out shopping, it's really frustrating. In fact, just the other day, I went to um, go get a bunch of clothes that I needed for an event that I have coming up. And you know, I don't, I don't think the sales lady meant any harm, but she was like, you know, ringing me up and she was like, you know, this is a lot of merchandise that you have here. Are you sure you wanna buy these clothes now? Because next week we're offering a 30% off, you know, friends and family discount. And I'm like, while I appreciate the heads up, 
I'm here now because I need the clothes now and I need the clothes now for an event that if I wait or don't have the proper clothes, like it could actually hurt my branding and hurt my business, hurt how I show up, make me less attractive to clients, make me look less professional if I, you know, either wait to get the clothing or I try to get cheaper clothing. So understand that the, the mindset of a high ticket buyer is that they are focused on value and they are focused on ROI, right? What is the return on my investment? So specifically for this event, again, I knew that I needed to show up in a very polished, professional, you know, high powered way. And so it was very important that I have specific clothing that makes me not only look a certain way for this event, but feeds into my confidence that makes me feel comfortable that I'm not tugging, you know, on it all the time, or I don't like the fabric or the material, or I'm ultra self-conscious about that. I I know that if I'm in clothing that I don't like or that I feel makes me doesn't feel good to me or you know it's too cheap or whatever and I'm always messing with it it messes up my ability to show up powerfully and to be charismatic in the environment that I am in and I know that that is a part of how I attract clients and so I have to do a whole nother video on that because most people think it's just about you know the information that you are sharing but it's also about how you show up right like that is literally half the battle so anyway these clothes are very important to me and there was a very high ROI that I was assigning to this event which is why I was going shopping in the first place. And so I just thought it was amazing. I was like, wow, I wonder if this, what the CEO would say, if he could see you telling a, a high paying customer, right? Cause I'm buying a lot of stuff and these clothes aren't cheap. You're telling a high paying customer that she shouldn't shop right now. She should come back. And when she comes back, she, she should buy for less, right? She should wait for the discount. Like, again, we, we often have this mindset of like, oh, you know, cheaper is better but cheaper is not always better. Sometimes I know what I'm looking for requires a level of investment and I'm okay with that because the return that I'm looking for is also high for me. So I don't want to spend less. I want to spend more because I want to guarantee that I'm going to get the results that I'm looking for. And so your clients are the same way. When you are really talking to high ticket clients to enroll in your group coaching program, understand that they use completely different language than what people who are looking for low ticket are, are looking for. They they have completely different desires, completely different motivations, but their number one motivation is ROI and return on investment. And so again, you need to do step number one and clean up your own money mindset, but two, you need to get into their mindset so that you can make sure that you are communicating the value of your program appropriately, because if you make it all about the price, you make it all about the discounts and you know, all this stuff, you might not realize it, but you might end up turning off buyers who are high ticket. And then again, attracting low ticket buyers, but low ticket buyers aren't looking to pay the prices of your high ticket program. So super important, make sure that you get into the mindset of a high ticket client. All right, the third thing you need to do when it comes to pricing your high ticket group coaching program is you gotta get clear on the result. And really I could have you know, put this one first because when we are thinking about the mindset of a high ticket buyer, again, what did I say? They are focused on ROI, they are focused on value. They wanna spend more, not less, because they wanna guarantee that they are going to get the result that they're looking for because the result is so important to them. But for you, it's really important that you are clear on what that result is. And so a big mistake that I see a lot of up and coming or even establish coaches who are working on these group coaching programs is that they're not really clear on the result. They're just so focused and so excited about putting together a group coaching program. And they're like, okay, I know I want to charge, you know, $10,000 for this, whatever, six month or 12 month group coaching program. And you know, they're, they're counting the dollar signs, you know, in their head, oh, you know, I'm going to be able to make this much and do this in my business and blah, blah, blah. Again, they're so focused on the high ticketness of the group coaching program that they're not focused on the result that the clients are actually going to get and the result is the most important part right because the price is a function of the result so you want to make sure that you are very clear that your clients if they pay you this money whatever it is 10k 20k whatever your high ticket group coaching program is if they pay you this money what is the result that they are going to get in return? That is important because that's gonna help you with your pricing and your client, your high ticket client is gonna be thinking that. They're gonna be thinking, is this result worth the money ultimately that this person is charging? So if, if you can't even clearly articulate what that result is, 
they can't go through that decision-making process in their mind. So you don't wanna have these super vague results. I feel like I'm always picking on my life coaches. I'm not picking on your life coaches. I'm a life coach too, I understand how it is. But I just know that a lot of life coaches really struggle in this area to really drill down on a result, particularly a result that's going to be of a value that a high ticket client would be interested in. So you wanna be very clear on that result. You want it to be something that you know has a lot of power, has a lot of punch. It should not be this vague like, oh yes, you joined my six month group coaching program and I'm gonna help you improve your life. Like, no. <laughs> no one is paying high ticket for that because it's not specific, right? That's like going into a pharmacy and all the bottles say medicine. It's like medicine, high price medicine. It's like. What is this medicine for, right? Is this for heart trouble? Is this for back pain? Is this for a migraine? Like, I don't wanna just take something that says medicine. I need to know specifically what this is gonna help me with. Your high ticket clients are the exact same way. So make sure that you're getting very clear on your result. All right, I have more where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. How much do you wanna charge for your high ticket group coaching program? Share in the comments below. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for, right? How do I price this high ticket group coaching program? Tell me, Courtney, just tell me. Okay, okay. Now, obviously I cannot tell you a specific dollar amount because I don't know what your niche is. Um, I don't know what goes into your coaching program. I don't know the result that you're offering, et cetera, but you can take this information to come up with a price on your own. And so the first thing you wanna do when you're coming up with an actual dollar amount is you want to price based on the return, right? So in the previous step, I asked you to get really clear on that result. Whatever that result was, what is that worth to your client, right? I know for my highest level coaching programs that people hear me say, like, again, I've invested, you know, 50, 60K in masterminds. I have programs that are 30K, 50K. They're like, Courtney, that's so much money. Like, who is paying that? Like, why would anybody pay that? Again, I'm very clear on my result. For those higher level programs that I offer, those are specifically for coaches who are already making six figures. Many of them are already making multi six figures and they wanna make the leap and scale to seven figures the way I have. And so I understand that moving from six multi six figures to seven figures requires not only a different mindset shift, it requires a different approach to building a team. It requires different level of content, different uh, consistency of your content, different volume of content, um, different style of programs, like a whole different level of mastery that is often not talked about, you know, commonly because so much of the focus in the coaching industry is just helping people get their first client. Not that there's anything wrong with that or helping people get to their first 10 K. Right. But what happens if you, if you've already surpassed that, right? You make a six figures or multi six figures and you want to hit seven figures. Where do you go? You come to me, right? Um, no, I have programs that help people at a variety of levels, but those higher level programs that I am charging 30, 50 K for it's for that, right? Or I do have some programs for beginners that are at that level, but it's for beginners who uh, might be high profile in a different area and they don't have a lot of time, honestly, to be coached. And so they want it done for you. And so I also have some done for you type services that I charge a lot for, for my doctors, my lawyers, my attorneys, my people who maybe already have a seven figure business in a different arena. And now they want to create a personal brand, but they don't have time to develop themselves. So they wanna come to me and they want my team to do the heavy lifting for them. So we do a lot of the brand design, the brand development, helping them come up with their content, editing the videos, like all of this stuff, right? That's why we charge those prices because we're essentially giving them a brand in a box. So you wanna be clear on what is the result that you're offering and what is the return of that result, right? So in my example of working with those six figure and multi six figure coaching clients who wanna get to seven figures, well, what's the return? A seven figure business, right? What's the value of that? seven figures, you would think, right? Or for my high level um, CEOs, lawyers, doctors, accountants, et cetera, who are in a traditional business and now they wanna create a personal brand, but they don't have the time to build it themselves. Again, what's the value of that? Well, once their brand is up and running, they could be making six or multi six or even seven figures. So again, that is the, uh, the value and the return that I am providing. So I charge based on that return. And so a good metric, again, this is like not set in stone, but this is a good place to start, is I like to charge around 10% of whatever the ultimate result that someone can hope to get. And I think 10 to 20% of whatever your grand result is, is a good range. So if whatever you offer, let's say is worth, you know, $100,000, it's not crazy to charge $10,000 for that. Like, why would I not charge you $10,000 to help you make $100,000? Like, come on, right? Um, but I know a lot of people say, well, what if I'm not a business coach or I'm not something that, I'm not doing something that helps people um, make money? 
that's totally fine, but there's still a dollar value associated with whatever it, it is that you help people do. Maybe you are a fertility coach that helps couples conceive naturally, you know, without medication. What's the price of a child, right? The value of a child, it's, you know, priceless, right? Um, but you can also think about the amount of money that people spend on treatments and different things. Well, you know, what's 10% of that? That would be for you. Same thing in dating and relationships. Um, again, what's the value of your dream spouse, you know, that you're gonna be with for the rest of your life you can't put a dollar amount on it but you can look at all the money that people spend trying to achieve that result so again a good rule of thumb that i like to use is to charge about 10 percent of whatever the total value is of the grand result that you offer all right and the fifth thing that you want to keep in mind and this is kind of a a bonus tip but you also want to charge based on your results right so as you get more results you can start to charge more even more than that 10 percent baseline that i gave you in the previous tip because you are reducing the risk because now you have client case studies and i talk about this in a previous video specifically how to raise your prices without you know scaring your clients away i talk about that but the more results you get, the more testimonials you get, the more client case studies that you get, the more results that you get for yourself, you know, as you invest in yourself and get to another level in your business, the more you can charge, right? I was not charging what I charge now when I was just making 100K in my business. But now that I'm making seven figures, that alone I can charge more because there's new information that I've learned and there's a new result that I've achieved for myself, if not for anybody else. But also I have lots of testimonials from my clients, lots of results everywhere that my clients have gotten. And so as I continue to get those results for people again it lowers the risk for the new people who are coming into me and i charge in proportion um, to that to that lowered risk and to uh, the certainty of the results that i provide for the people that i'm working with so if you love this video you are going to love my brand new masterclass called how to unblock your brand so part of the reason why people often will set a price for their programs but not be able to command it is because they're making a lot of mistakes when it comes to their overall coaching brand and how they structure their business and so in this brand new masterclass, again, called Unblock Your Brand, I peel back the layers and show you behind the scenes of not only my business model, but the business model you really need to set up if you want to create a business that has repeatable revenue and allows you to charge the prices that are in alignment with what you're worth. So this is typically information that I charge for. I've only talked about this to my clients. So if you're interested in this while it's still free, go ahead and click the link below to sign up for that Unblock Your Brand masterclass. All right, if you love this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you can't wait until my next video, come on over to Instagram. It's Courtney L. Sanders, where you can follow my behind the scenes as well as get even more tips just like this. And if you can't wait till my next video or my next Instagram post, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast. It's The Courtney Sanders Show on both Spotify and iTunes, where I share not only the behind the scenes of my thinking and my business, but also more business tips, more life personal development tips, my favorite journey, my family. I'm always just spouting off on my podcast. So I know you will enjoy that as well. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.